Hey guys, Mars Singing here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. And so today, I am going to talk about the Saiyan Day banner that we'll be releasing uh, very soon. Uh, I think it's going to come out by the time this video goes up. It's going to be out in like 36 hours or something like that. Um, we won't know the details of the banner pretty much until it comes out because when we get the data download. Uh, we might see the initial like thumbnail image, which usually just shows the headliner and the side banner unit, which we already know is, of course, the God Goku and then the Super Saiyan Vegeta. Uh, we haven't seen the SSR art for the Vegeta. We won't see that until the day of download. Uh, we obviously saw the SSR art for the God Goku in the V-Jump leak that I covered yesterday. So those two units are obviously going to be the two new units on the banner. But what is the rest of the banner going to look like? So, if we take a look at last year's Saiyan Day banner, you can see we had the new Margin Vegeta. We had the STR Goten and Trunks. After seeing how good Vegeta is, it just makes these guys seem like even more of a fumble. Like, it was so disappointing last year. I was a big fan of Margin Vegeta. I think he was underrated even at his release. He obviously got a lot better when units like Vegeta and Trunks came out to kind of strengthen how well he would work on teams. But when he first came out, I still thought he was really good. But these guys were just... They just sucked, like, as soon as they came out, right? Like, there's no getting around it. But the side banner unit for this banner is the Super Saiyan Vegeta with the, that's my Bulma transformation into Super Saiyan 2, who actually look like, he's like Dokkan Fest exclusive level. So, that's pretty cool. Now, then when we look at the rest of the banner, this is what we're essentially speculating. So, the Saiyan Day banner is always the first return of the Tanabata LR. So, last year, that was Tech uh, Goku and Vegeta that fused into Gogeta. The year before that, when we had Broly and the side banner unit Trunks, Side banner unit trunks was actually really good. Um, I think in terms of how good they were on release and how long they were still usable for, this trunk at trunks absolutely blows this like Goten and trunks out of the water. But you can see here this year, that was when the uh, physical blue boys returned. That was their first return as well. So what that means is basically guaranteed that this first slot on this year's Saiyan Day banner um, is going to be the first return of the LR Vegeta and trunks. So this is one that I know a lot of people have been looking forward to. This is one that you should have been saving your red coins for if you didn't pull them from their original banner. These guys are still incredibly good, easily still a top 10 unit. I know people go back and forth on, you know, some people's top 10s will look wildly different. I think most people, I guess it depends, right? Because I'm differentiating between JP and Global where we don't have the anniversary LRs yet. But I think most people would still put these guys in the top five, especially on Global. Maybe not on JP, but they are very, very good. They have a really good leader skill. They're one of the best units until this God Goku is coming out. They're one of the best units to run both of the anniversary LRs on their 200% leader skill. So this unit is incredibly good. Very good leader. Slot 1 tank. If you don't have them, obviously even if you're summoning on the banner for the God Goku and the Vegeta, pulling these guys is going to be very, very good for your account if you don't have them. And they are absolutely a prime pick for red coins. So that's where we are to start off with. We guarantee that they are going to come back. Then, for the last couple of years, we've seen the return of the previous Saiyan Day units. So, Margin Vegeta's banner had Broly and Bardock. Um, Broly's banner had Bardock and then Namek Goku. I don't think Namek Goku, was he actually the Saiyan Day unit before? I think, I thought it was Transforming Vegeta, who was on Margin Vegeta's banner, but not on here. So, we can pretty much guarantee that on this banner, we are going to see the return of Margin Vegeta, because he was the previous Saiyan Day unit. I don't think they've ever done in the last like four years or so. They have not done a Saiyan Day banner that did not have the previous new release Saiyan Day unit. So Margin Vegeta will be on the banner. A little bit annoying for Global how some of this banner is going to line up because Margin Vegeta is on Bardock's uh, banner. And then of course the next one is Broly, the Saiyan Day unit from the year before. Both of these units are currently on Global's uh, Bardock banner, which will go away just before the Saiyan Day banner comes out. Now that is kind of annoying. We obviously were hoping they were going to change Bardock's banner because of this. Because honestly I don't see them changing the Saiyan Day banner. Because for JP, these units were obviously not just on a banner. So for them, it's still decent. Like Broly can still be good. He finally gets a 200% lead with this God Goku. Although it's kind of stupid because for God Goku to get his entrance animation, you have to have a full super team. 
Well, actually, I guess technically, if it counts the friend, you can have one extreme unit on the team and still get his entrance animation. So you could run this Broly on the 200% team with God Goku, but because of his links, like, you're only really going to be getting... Well, actually, I guess he doesn't have big bad bosses, so maybe it's not the worst thing in the world. But not really the best team for him, but he can still be pretty good. And obviously, Margin Vegeta is good. So them being on the banner is not bad for JP. A little bit bad for Global. But obviously, we're going to get into uh, some of the speculation now. Because this is where we get to, like, who are the rest of the units going to be. So every year, for the last couple of years, there have been eight featured SSRs. So the two new ones, the Tanabar LR, the previous two Saiyan Day units, and then three other SSRs that have kind of fit the theme. Kid Goku... I didn't really think he did, but I guess thinking about it now, if I really wanted to narrow it down, you obviously have the whole thing with, like, the baby Broly and baby Kakarot, which is why he hates him so much in the Z translation. So, I guess Kid Goku on there very, very loosely fits the theme. And then we had the two Dokon Fest Broly's, including a super old one. So, this banner really wasn't that great. And then Margin Vegeta, we just had two other versions of Vegeta. So, Blue Evolution Vegeta was still good, and he got his Easy A during Saiyan Day. So, the basic question that I'm going to cover for this last part of the video is, who are these other three SSRs going to be? Because we're going to have God Goku and Vegeta as the top two. Then we're going to have Vegeta and Trunks, Margin Vegeta and Broly. So then, who are the other three SSRs going to be? So, my thought behind this, uh, for how I think the banner would be kind of cool, is to basically consider the God Ritual that creates the Super Saiyan God Goku as the rest of the banner, right, in order to fulfill the theme. So the first unit that I thought of, we obviously got Goku and we've got Vegeta because they are the two new units. So we need to have a Gohan on the banner. So Tech Gohan would obviously be the top choice. He is the newest uh, Dokkan Fest, like, you know, adult, well, technically teen, lol, Dokkan. But this is the, uh, you know, closest that we have to a Dokkan Fest Gohan from the time of Battle of Gods. Um, obviously, in the art on the God Goku card, he is in the orange uh, gi, which, of course, he does transform into. Um, or, of course, there is the option for the STR Ulma Gohan. STR Ulma Gohan is still pretty good. Chance to guard is annoying, but because he's a defensive support unit, he's still pretty good as an option to run on a bunch of different teams. Tech Gohan, obviously, still is better overall and is a unit that is still awaiting an easy A. So if you're somebody who doesn't have him or still needs copies of him, him being on banners is obviously good. So you can get those extra copies you need. And then when he gets an easy A, you know, you're potentially going to have him rainbowed already. Uh, so him being on the banner would be pretty good. Um, and those would cover the Gohan. There's not a lot of other Dokkan Fest Gohans unless we start going into like Kid Gohan and stuff like that, which I don't think really fits the theme that I'm trying to go for here with this which is of course the god ritual so next up we have Goten and Trunks uh I actually completely forgot this unit existed I was looking through the list and I was like oh there isn't a Dokkan Fest Kid Trunks or a Dokkan Fest Kid Goten but there is of course a Dokkan Fest Goten and Trunks now I can't remember the last time they were on a banner for either version they've aged quite a bit um, I mean, they're still usable in some content. I'm pretty sure I did a video where I actually managed to beat Cell Max with them when they when like Cell Max first came out. Because as long as you can get their passive off and get the dodges, they can still be pretty good in events where you can dodge. Um, but obviously, fitting into the theme of the Saiyan Day ritual, or sorry, the God ritual, if that's what we are going for for the theme of the banner, this is basically the only Dokkan Fest like Goten and Trunks. So I could see them being on the banner to fulfill that part of the role. Then if we want to keep the banner strictly to Saiyans, uh, one thing I did think of, because I didn't bring up the page for Videl, but you could argue that Videl could be on the banner because she takes part in the Saiyan Day ritual. I keep saying Saiyan Day ritual, but she takes part in the God ritual. So Videl could be on the banner, although she is very out of place, right? She's not a Saiyan or a hybrid Saiyan. She's not on God Goku's lead. Um, it would be kind of out of place for her to be on the team. However, you have to remember, the reason why Videl is even able to take part in the God Ritual in the first place is because she's already pregnant with Pan. Pan is the final Saiyan that takes part in the God Ritual, technically, even though she's still just, you know, a baby inside Videl. Well, not even a baby, right, but inside Videl. So, 
Pan could be on the banner because technically she is part of the God Ritual. And then this brings us back to somebody might say, oh, but Pan has literally just been on the um, 17s banner on JP. But of course, that brings us back to Vegeta and Broly. They've just been on a banner on Global. So for Global, I don't think Pan has returned, right? Yeah, because the 17s banner was Pan's first return on JP. So this would actually be kind of a W for Global that she returns for the first time early. And then it kind of makes up for the fact that two of the units that we just had on the banner um, were, you know, units that we literally just had on Bardock's banner. So I think this would be pretty cool because JP have just had her, but... Global has just had uh, Margin Vegeta and Broly. So I think that's a pretty good trade off. So that gives us the go. Obviously, it's not going to be all of these. Like I said, right? we're only going to get three SSRs. So the last one I wanted to talk about was Vegeta. Now, Vegeta technically is a old Saiyan Day unit. And we already have a new Vegeta card on the banner. So it's not like we need a Vegeta if we are trying to fulfill that God ritual. But because this guy is now going to be four years old at this Saiyan Day. And remember, Blue Evolution Vegeta got an easy A last year as part of Saiyan Day. I could see this guy getting an easy A um, during Saiyan Day this year. Because remember, we are going to get nine easy A's and we still don't know what all of them are yet. So I could see this guy being on the banner, but let me know what you guys think of my idea. I think the theme for the banner being the God Ritual would be pretty cool. Throw us a Gohan on there, throw Goten and Trunks on there, and then throw Pan on there. In fact, if these three, if we had Tech Gohan, uh, Goten and Trunks, and then Pan, if these were the three other SSRs on the banner, that is everyone involved in the God Ritual on the banner so i personally think that would be pretty cool but let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section are you hyped for summoning i am actually just beyond hyped at this point uh, both the new units look really good the whole of the rest of the banner honestly could be trash and i would still summon um, i need two dupes of vegeta and trunks so yeah i will be going all in on this banner i will be live streaming when the banner comes out so hopefully i will see you guys there and hopefully we all get some good luck so let me know what you guys think who do you want to see on the banner do you like the idea of the god ritual theme let me know down below in the comment section so that is going to be it for the video guys this has been the master ningen smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you are new check out the links down below for the discord and the merch store and i will see you all again soon have a good one